Hey guys, J Games here again. This is going to be what if Naruto was Gyome Himajima's reincarnation. Now, Gyome Himajima is the stone pillar from Demon Slayer, and I don't really like Demon Slayer. Like, not that I don't like it, I just don't watch it that much. I've read the whole manga, so. Yeah. But my school kind of had it, and they're like the only manga they had, like, I think, like, like, wait, like, I want to say, like, before lockdown, but yeah. I don't think, I think it's before lockdown. So yeah, like this is my my current school had it too, but they didn't have all of it. Kind of started it and then ended it at like two different schools. So yeah, the current school I attended, like not current last school I attended, had the ending of it. So that's about it. But, yeah. So basically, um, spoilers for the manga. So basically, Kyome had well died in Infinity Castle, like, like along with like 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 ninety like like ninety six percent of the other Hashira besides like if you want to call the Komboko Trio plus Kane plus plus Kana, like Hashira, go ahead. But if you want to count them like Kano or Kane, I forgot who's who, but who's who's Kano, Kano, Tanjiro, Inosuke, Tani Two, Giyu, and Sanami. They're the, ones, they're, the ones, they're the ones that survived Infinity Castle. So, yeah. Everyone else, everyone else that attended the other Hashira had died. Including Gyome. And when Gyome dies, well, he just reincarnates into the Naruto world. And, well, in this one, well, Naruto world would be a bit is pushed back, I would say. To the point where the story would start when Naruto is around 16 or so years old. So, yeah. So, it starts when he's around 16. When he's around 16. But, in the meantime, Naruto actually is not raised in Konoha. Basically, when, when everyone hears about the nicest being sealed inside Naruto, they think they're not vote for him to be dead to die or be, or be like, locked away somewhere. They don't want to vote for him for, for, for him to be sent to the Storm Temple to extinguish the demon, hoping that the temple would keep Naruto alive, but destroy the demon fox. Which Hiroshima doesn't know is ridiculous, even the temple knows this, but the story is Naruto there. So Naruto is raised in the temple, and Naruto seems, seems to be predominantly strong at Earth release when, he, when they give him like, like the test when he's around 8 or so years old. So yeah. And Naruto... He's already has inhumanly strong strength and speed. He's also born blind. So, yeah. So, so it's also due to the Naruto's chakra being so toxic for a baby to the point where it burned out Naruto's, where it kind of burned out the ability for Naruto's eyes to see. But yeah, it did, it did give Naruto access to, access to the seat through the world. As, as, see, it gave Naruto access to the seat through the world. Which is, well, one reason that he's actually such a strong, a strong swordsman, but he doesn't really use a sword. He thinks it has too light, and if he's, if he's not careful with such a light object, he may break it. So with this, he would use a spiked flail and an axe. And Naruto isn't, Naruto isn't really strong with these ability, with these well, techniques. This Naruto would incorporate his earth style into basically, in basically techniques for his axe and flail. Being, well, stone breathing. Naruto also has, well, wind, water, wind and water release. So, yeah. So Naruto is able to perform pretty strong earth, wind, and water release, but he refers to mainly he focus on wind, on wind release, and his stone breathing. So yeah. And Naruto, Naruto, well, he's also very sensitive, like Gyome. So yeah, like I'm pretty sure one said that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Gyome is like you know something where like he's like a door being slammed hard to make Gyome just ball his eyes out. So no, Naruto, but Naruto's not that sensitive as he's canonical Naruto, but he's a bit still like pretty soft. Like, even like, we got a plate, we got a plate being broken in front of him, he'll just cry because someone worked hard, hard to make that plate and it just, just got destroyed in front, right in front of him. So, yeah. So, yeah. Also, he kind of adores, like, the whole Kage of Konoha. And he was told that oh, the Kage sent him here to avoid the hate of the hatred of Konoha. So, Naruto does owe his sanity to Hiroshima in this one. So, yeah. He's also very gentle and soft spoken, not least speaking too loud, but he's inhumanly large for his age, too. But, yeah. But Naruto, when he's around, when he's around 13, we send Beast to Konoha to pass the, 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 the graduation exam. And everyone's wondering who Naruto is. As he walked in there, more, more kind of like, I guess, a, a orangish kimono with white, with, white, with white parts of it. And as when he came to the kind of exam, everyone heard the name Naruto was Maki, knowing who he is. As they've been told that there's a, there's a, that there's a, someone, there's a boy who holds a demon, and his name is Naruto. So yeah. But they were, they were doing tests. Naruto, in terms of combat, is relatively really good, actually. His combat skill, in terms of just Tai Taijutsu, would rival the average user, the uh, average user, the average, I would say, like, Chunin, so he's pretty, he's pretty skilled, so he gets around an S rank for his, for his grade. Then, for his speed, it already surpasses most Jonin and, and their, and their, and their body flicker, so, Naruto's getting an automatic S rank. 
And then eventually, Lizon lose on the strength where Naruto easily just pulled a tree out of the ground with one hand. And his, then his grave is also an S rank. His ninjutsu will leave the show off a bit, a bit, a bit of wind release. But it shows off his stone breathing, and that's even more impressive, giving him, well, a blank rating, but with a small infinity symbol in it. All of Roger's scores proceed to be S rank, even his intelligence. He also does have a scar across his forehead, but he got that through training. So yeah. And eventually we go on to just Naruto when he's now 17, not 17, when he's 16. When he's 16, Naruto basically will be sent, be sent, back, be sent back to Konoha as a, as a Genin. And while he's here, he's put on Team 7, being Sasuke, Sakura, and that's about it. But as soon as it happens to be Kakashi. So yeah. And Naruto at the age of 16 is roughly about the height of, I would say, about 7 foot exactly. <laughs> so he walks in the classroom and just, and just like, like goes into the door and everyone will see Naruto, who's already pretty big when they were 13, now he's completely massive. As they're just in pure shock. But Naruto is taking a seat as they end up giving him like the guess some team he's on. And he bows saying... It's, saying it's, it's good to be on, good to be good to be on a team with other kids his age. This is being a temple surrounded by by men who are a lot older than him. Sasuke then kind of sighs, saying, "What? What if I have some, some blind kid on my team? So annoying." Naruto isn't really offended by that, but he's kind of offended that Sasuke is so so, pledged, so prejudiced towards his people with disabilities. Naruto is humanly strong, having the best grade in the class for all around abilities, even if he's blind. So Naruto feels Sasuke feels bad for Sasuke that um bad for Sasuke, feels bad that Sasuke is um very prejudiced. So yeah. But so not, when Sasuke's like, did I make you hurt your feelings something? I was like, no, I'm 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 sad that that you, that you think that way of people with disabilities. Immediately everyone being yelling at Sasuke for what he just said, except the except for the girls. They, they try to defend what Sasuke said, but they, everyone keeps like, throwing out good pointers. And Naruto keeps crying because he feels bad for Sasuke now. It's just like a bit of, bit of into tears that Naruto doesn't, doesn't can't stop. <laughs> so you think, like, no, don't yell at Sasuke. I just feel bad that he did this. And then it just goes on to basically just, uh, he keeps crying, but for different reasons. But then those different reasons go on to keep making him cry because people keep yelling about those said reasons. Man, yeah. Mufi Kakashi walked in asking why Naruto was crying. And then he then said why, and Kakashi's like, we'll work on that, Naruto. He then cries with happiness, saying, thank you, Kakashi-sensei. Kakashi really doesn't have to cry that easily, saying, never mind, we won't. Okay, so they head to the roof. He has likes and dislikes. Naruto then says, well, he just likes a lot of things, but no, 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 he doesn't like it. It's just, I mean, he, doesn't, he just cries easily, so it seems like he doesn't like it. He also thought he won't like it for a second or two, but, uh... It's kind of just different. So, yeah. So, Nurse doesn't, doesn't, like, doesn't like anything. It's just he cries easily, so it seems like he doesn't like a lot of things. But, no, there's very few things he doesn't dislike. Or he does dislike, I mean. But, yeah. So, his likes, pretty much everything. It's just that things make him cry insanely easily out of just joy, sadness, so, etc. His goal, no. Well, he doesn't really have a, have a specific one, but he wishes well, he wishes to Kona, even if it were even if it were to take his life. The the Hokage saved his life, so he's willing, he's willing to give his life for the strong shinobi of the land. So yeah. This Kashi kind of smiled, saying, "Good Naruto." That's pretty that's, that's pretty solid for you. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid, solid, solid for you. And then he has Naruto's like like, like well, he's not Naruto. So that's Sasuke this day, this stuff. Sakura Sakura their stuff. It goes the exact same way. Sakura doesn't hate Naruto. She hates Kiba. And it was Christ or Sakura hating someone. <laughs> so, yeah. But Sasuke would want to investigate Naruto. As Naruto would kind of just walk somewhere. As Sasuke's wondering where Naruto's going. Naruto obviously, not, obviously knows that Sasuke's following him, but it doesn't really mind. And Naruto would go to the forest, finding the Uzumaki, well, I guess, the Uzumaki, like, at least Naruto had the mask, I guess, that little, like, Uzumaki shed. And Naruto, Naruto, Naruto should have found some on his way into Konoha as he took the wrong, the wrong direction, but still went in. And here's where she was actually where he sleeps. There's no, there's no really doors and windows, but he doesn't really mind. No, no, no animals bother him. He's kind of scares a lot of them off with just raw mites if they try to eat him. But yeah. So as Naruto sleeps, eventually it came, it came time to come time to the bell test, and Naruto had overslept. But well, Sakura and Sasuke said he overslept until he until Naruto woke up, realizing he was an hour late, as he just ran ran into the field as fast as possible. Sasuke and Sakura like wondering why they hear like just loud like loud footsteps, like no footsteps, they hear like loud booms. I can direction where they hear them, seeing a giant smoke cloud, seeing Naruto arrive right in front of them, saying, Sorry I'm late, sorry I'm late. Well, he sees Kakashi isn't there, but only Sasuke and Sakura. 
and tears up, saying, "He fooled us. He's he's, gonna, he's gonna be even later than usual." And then Sasuke and Sakura realize that, that Naruto's right as they they even be crying with him, in like like a, like a gag style. So yeah, eventually, eventually, well, time passed, and Kakashi had arrived. With Naruto currently just training, just training the spike and flail technique, and Sasuke, Sasuke, and Sasuke and Sakura can't help but watch in awe. It's already it's already nearly a whole acre is destroyed by Naruto. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, pause. So, yeah, so they already see like a nearly whole acre of trees that have been destroyed by Naruto. But Kakashi then talks about what time it, what time it should go on. What time it should go on? What like what the what the um whole what everything is going to be? He's like the, the direction. But Naruto tells Kakashi that there's like you know only two bells for three people. As they as he said, there's two bells. But then Naruto has an idea saying, "Hmm, Sensei." This usually what doesn't happen, but I would ask that they give us at least 30 seconds for 30 seconds of prep time. Will that work? Kashi would say, I'm just going to be one to one to Shinobi Okona, huh? I'll allow it. But 10 seconds. Naruto Nar- says, fine, that works. Kashi says, Tucker turning around, saying, all right, well, there's only, there's only two bells, but without he's saying, without he's acting and saying everything, it's a teamwork exercise, nothing more. I think us having having good coordination would help us win. So then Kashi would then yell, time's up. And Sasuke and Sakura then split, and split as Naruto then doesn't. With that, Naruto ends up nodding towards the direction of Sasuke and Sakura individually. And then he attacks Kakashi head on. Kakashi can really avoid any of Naruto's attacks. And Naruto decides that she will first go out and go to Taijutsu, holding his back and flail up with, other, with, other, with his other hand. Well, then on one hand, Kakashi is being pressed, being pressed like heavily. Because Naruto's speed is already passing lightning, and his punches can easily eradicate things that are roughly around like, like a thousand tons, a thousand tons, around a hundred tons easily. So Naruto's Naruto punches are, are nearly are nearly like, as strong as like fourth gate might guy. So like probably even stronger than fourth gate guy actually. <laughs> There's another guy that have to use at least six gates to even match Naruto's Nar- match Naruto's raw like raw physical might. So yeah, because Naruto even even without without using his power would be considered like like like, like the like, 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 the tail is tail beast. And not not gonna keep saying no. He'd like considered like the, like like the eight tails but no tails. <laughs> so yeah. Its power is relatively similar to roughly, I would say, like probably like, like the seven tails, six tails around there. So yeah. But Naruto still bring Kakashi to the point where Naruto just yelled, "We yelled, wind style, wind style jutsu," making a giant, giant cutting motion as the giant burst of wind would cut up, would cut towards towards Kakashi. And immediately, Kakashi able to, able to come, will use his own jutsu to destroy the wind style jutsu. But as soon as as soon as he did it, he created a large explosion. Only for Naruto to yell, first form, Jamongan so kyoku. Which is kind of, kind, of, kind of like him throwing his spiked flail first, but then grabbing the chain, and then his axe is also thrown, as he, as he controls both of them using the chain. With this, they both end up nailing Kakashi, as his arms are pretty badly cut up, and one arm is even broken, broken with the force. And Kakashi flying back, and then it poofed into a log. So with this, immediately, well, Kakashi would realize how much force that, that Naruto had, but Naruto already knew this was, a, this was a substitution, before Naruto then yelled. Then yelled, someone drove tree, this direction. Then he Sasuke had yelled, fire style, Phoenix Flower Jutsu, then another tree down, we'll put the fireballs, fire, fire, mini, mini fireballs, so then threw from the multiple of the kunai, right in the fireballs, making them blow up on Kakashi. Then he jumped through the flames, or through the smoke, only to be punched in the back by Naruto, full force. He only felt, his, felt like his spine would, would be destroyed, well, he thought it was full force, but no, Naruto held back a bit, then Kakashi flying to the ground. Kakashi to the ground, holding his, holding his back, saying, damn it, that was so hard. Only from behind, for Sakura to jump right under, right under and grabbing one bell, and Sasuke grabbing and grabbing his own. And with that, they pass. He got both the bells, and they did excellent teamwork. So yeah, Sasuke is a bit more mature in this one. He's still kind of arrogant, but a bit mature. So, yeah. So yeah, with this, Naruto would basically end up, well, end up, well kind of crying a joy that they passed, and well, end up just cry for, for hurting Kakashi. So, so Kakashi says he's pretty bruised, so he's, like, he's pretty bruised, so he's going to go to the doctor, I don't know if like a shirt running to the hospital full speed ahead, with his like this like 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 like, like, like and axe in his mouth. But then you got the hospital bring Kashi in, they heal him, and they end up in the nurse's mouth for him holding a spiked flail in his mouth. So yeah. But as soon as he to know, he's like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. As he closes himself into the chakra, and then the wound heals immediately. As not just full control over at least like four tails of karma, pretty easily actually. So yeah. This this is due to, to, to his rather peaceful mindset, but also his body being able to handle a lot of damage. Like his durability is like 
So when Kakashi's, when Kakashi's Dory may not fully pierce through Naruto's body. He may hit him, but won't go well, like, completely through him. That's just how durable Naruto is. So, yeah. Which is not like Kakashi, because Kakashi is Kakashi. I'd say probably, probably Sasuke Chidori wouldn't do that. Like, it wouldn't go, it wouldn't go completely through Naruto. It, like, it, like, hit him, sure. Would it impale him? Probably not. So, let's see, that's just how durable, how durable Naruto is. So, yeah. So, now with this, we go on. So, I would probably say Naruto and Team 7. And when they have to, like, do the bridge of mission around a month and a half later. You know, Naruto already has chakra control in Sasuke as well. Sakura doesn't learn it. Or doesn't have it yet. She's intentionally trained in ninjutsu. Then Naruto had an idea. Saying that Sasuke has much better, better chakra control. Or not chakra control, but... He has much, he has much better, i say... He captures the attention of Sakura even better than he does. So Sasuke can train her, can train her, can train her chakra control. Well, only time Naruto tries to get Sakura to warm up to him. Then when that happens, he'll train her in, in ninjutsu. Uh, Sasuke agrees to this. So yeah. So with this... Naruto would eventually, well, go on, and, well, I don't know, like, 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 like a day later, Sakura came to him for, like, for, like, just, 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 well, just as, as a friend, and him and Sakura get along pretty well. Which leads to, actually, well, I would say, like, just Naruto and her, well, they become decently friends, decent good friends, as Naruto, as well, Naruto can be friending Sasuke as well. Naruto even teaching, even teaching him how to, how to use Earth Release. So, yeah. But Sasuke has changed how well, so Naruto Fire Release. But then Naruto began teaching Sakura how to use water and earth release, which she picked up earth release pretty quickly, and picked up at least one jutsu water release. So they're, they're one pretty, they're one pretty, pretty functional team, actually one of the strongest of Konoha. But then Tazuna, when he walked in, he saw Sakura who looked pretty, pretty decently impressive, as Naruto also taught her, it's like, you didn't have the, your, your perfect, your preferred style, but you know how to maintain it in battle and how to use it properly. Well, at least you want to keep it, keep it normal. So yeah. So with this, after she's taught, like, she can keep her hair long, or at least keep it short, but you can prefer that, you can prefer however you want. So yeah. But with this, eventually, well, she just cut her hair, but still has it the way she likes it. She also has a few scars from, 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 he feels a lot stronger, as emotions can can, can dictate your chakra and your and your body's power. He used that Sasuke technique that he, that he didn't want to, but he taught him it either way, called repetitive action, which brings up a painful memory to enhance your power. But Naruto would also use it to bring up the best memory of his life, and he teaches he Sasuke that technique. So yeah. He also taught them, plus Sasuke and Sakura both total concentration breathing, which he developed. So, yeah. And Mikashi has, 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 has both those techniques. So yeah. Now with this, when Tazuna sees them, they actually seem like a like like a pretty solid team, especially the giant. So yeah, so Tazuna isn't 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 mean to them at all. Sakura seems seems, seems to be decent, confident in herself. Sasuke seems to be pretty pretty relative. And Naruto is seven feet tall. What are you to say to him? He's a, he's a literal he's a literal literal seven foot seven foot mass of muscle. You don't understand saying anything to this man at all. <laughs> Despite him being very gentle, so yeah. But another time you see the world can see like Tazuna's heart beating rapidly, and then another one, not another one bowing, saying, "Don't worry, I'm kind." And Tazuna immediately calmed down on the spot, so yeah. And then another one says, oh, as, 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 "As a gesture of goodwill, here you go." As he hands Tazuna prayer beads, saying, "These are like his good luck charms." So yeah. So with this, we're going like a day later to like the um the uh, what was it? Oh yeah, the the Demon Brothers. No, not just when, like everyone's like luggage as they have like one giant bag. And many demon brothers burst out of the puddle, attacking attacking Naruto once they once they're discovered. But, yeah. But when the when the demon brothers will jump out of the puddle, not even really just nods to Sakura, she would dash forward full speed ahead, like one from right in the face with a roundhouse kick, and pulling out kunai, and then throwing it right in right into the guy's leg, then stomping on it full force, making it go like through through their bone and their leg. So yeah. The other one is immediately just drop kicking face by Sasuke, who would then just run close on him before the guy even hit the ground, which wouldn't just knock him out immediately. But when Sakura is kind of just stabbed in the leg, he gives all the mission immediately, because Naruto is standing, standing over him, menacingly, on purpose, actually. <laughs> so, yeah. Once the guy gives, gives information, well, they're already on the whereabouts, on the whereabouts, on the hunt for Sabu and Haku. Well, mainly Naruto is. So, Sasuke and Sakura are already, already like, protecting Kazuna, so he's on the hunt for Sabu and Haku. 
This is one from the forest line, kind of taking, taking very quiet steps. But eventually, once the mist came in, he didn't really see it, but he felt it. But merely he inhaled as much as possible, so that's what he's doing. Boy, poor like he kind of the can signs to cover like cover your ears. They did it immediately. They didn't let out a loud yell. That immediately dispersed all the mist, even scaring off all the animals, which would disperse the genjutsu that the bunny had. So yeah. So yeah. So with this, immediately the Haku would actually cover his ears as well. So I was able to cover his cover his ears. You no, know, this is obviously being closer than, than than Haku was. He probably moved his hand and seeing a bit of blood on it. And Zabuza says, what the hell was that? That hurt. And not to immediately knew what Zabuza was off that very sentence. Now, right in front of the tree, climbing his axe into it, and hitting an axe with his flail, breaking the tree in half, and then Zabuza right in the back. It didn't impale him, or it didn't impale him, but it didn't cut him in half. That was a yell in pain, only for now to grab him, grab him like, like his forearms, then throw him into a tree, appear in front of him, and go in for, going for a punch. Quickly, Haku would cut, cut Naruto's arm, as you can see, like a, big, like, like a bit of veins bulging, which cut up in our, which he get cut right, right on the vein. Making blood splash out of Naruto's hand as he went hand his arm as he jumps away, holding it. Holding back his blood, holding his back, his blood's pouring out a bit rapidly. But then immediately, well, as like, as like I would say, like, um, as Haku's trying to get Zabuza out of there, well, Sasuke and Sakura appear in front of them and begin fighting. As Naruto's attending to his wound to help, help with Kakashi, Kakashi as well. Sasuke and Soccer guy just, just, just bum rushing Zabuza and Haku. But so- Kashi would help, help Naruto help Naruto with his wound. It's fixed. And then Naruto immediately went into, into Sutail's form, rushing at them full speed ahead on all fours. Zabuza saw Naruto running at them and tried to use his Kubi Yubasho to like, just cover their attack. But Naruto was too flat, too fast, and I was bed them, closing them both into a tree, knocking them out. So yeah, he would nod, nod to Sasuke and Sakura would thank him. Then they're just, um, just then they're just detained. Those up in Hakko brought to the hidden, brought to the hidden, land of waves, where they're both kind of shown to basically just be, they need to be, uh, as yelled at and have to make a turn at them, which does make Naruto feel bad, but it's deserved. He knows it. But when she tells him that once they, once they, once they feel bad for what they've done to the villagers, either directly or indirectly, he'll untie them, but they will, they will be forced to stay, stay near him at all times. Well, this immediately, after like, like, like an hour of this, up in Hakko say, they say like, they, they feel, they, they repent, they feel bad, everything. Tanaka so untied them, and eventually brought them brought them to where Sasuke and Sakura were training, only alongside Kakashi. Then told Zabuza that Zabuza will be, will be training will be training him to use to use the sword better. Zabuza asked why Tanaka seemed pretty handy with handy with with the, with the axe and flail, but Naruto doesn't care. Telling Zabuza to train him, Zabuza and Haku will Haku both hold, which will improve Naruto's speed and Naruto's strength, which he didn't need, but well, also technique, but yeah. But yeah. So yeah. But yeah, um, we go on to, I'd probably say just now got gotcha has been arriving, and after that, after recently just built the bridge with just one hand, with like one juice like put his hand down, like put one hand down, then the bridge is fully built, fully built with just that one motion. So yeah. But then the shows up by Gotcha's men as they had just arrived, and not to then ask them like why 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 are there such evil men here in such a peaceful village? Gotcha said that why. Asking if they hired him as muscle, he says he doesn't seem too strong, as he has a wound on his arm, obviously. But after pulled it off, saying the wound, the wound's healed, it only, it only took him it took him it took him it took him two minutes. You know, anyone who goes to work in Naruto, which are not Naruto, not realizing he's blind, doesn't know to kind of did on hearing, so he he has quiet steps because he was he was like shinobi. The thing is, he didn't even even graduate the academy; he just said he was like shinobi. Grabbing him with an seven arch of the throat, one of the grab him by, by the wrist, pull his arm in one direction, then pull the arm in the opposite direction of what he just pulled it, and that broke the arm immediately. Then after the guy in the air, then nailing him in the back with a kick, seeing him flying right into Gato's men, saying, Hmm, it's the attack on a blind man. How disgraceful. Immediately, Nato Naruto appeared right in front of the man, hitting him in the, the face with a flail, making the man's head, head just blow apart all across Gato's men. And everyone, and all those who heard the screaming of Gacho's men just in fear and a sh- just shock. They go to the bridge, same one after just done, done, that woman, done that one man with the, with the, spike, the spike and flail. And then they turn back, saying, The sec will kill all of them, all of them, but it will not be painless. They don't deserve a painless or calm death. This will be one of the most violent, violent techniques he can ever think of. Which immediately just make Gacho a bit nervous, as Narthen yells, fifth, fifth form, Arcs of Justice. 
in which he joins a strong barrage of just attacks with his with his axe and flail. We does this well, kind of just eliminates Gato's men in a very dist- in a very disturbing way. By the time he's done, he's going to kick, kick, kick some blood, and so is the bridge. But after being the middle of one hand, as he just, as he just yells, "Water shockwave!" and the blood's clean off him, and that's just like, like kind, of, kind, of, kind of like blew apart the not blew apart, but blew blood off the bullet off the bridge, along with the bodies, then blew blood off Naruto as well. So yeah, he takes it off. He says back to the town, and then Naruto's cheering for Naruto along with all the other villagers and his team. He didn't realize they were there, so he's focused on just destroying Gato and his men mercilessly. In the opposite shock that Naruto had such a strong technique of his arsenal that it could have killed him and killed him in just the first attack. Hell, he blew apart guy's head with one blow from a flail. So yeah. Now with this, Naruto and them all head back to basically just Kanoha, and Zabuza and Haku join him. As Naruto, as Naruto assumed Haku was a guy until yeah, she looked down at Haku's body, seeing only female organs, or two, or seeing no male organs, but female organs instead. Which mainly made, made him blush, so yeah. He made him, he made out be able to see her, but he didn't see through her, which was enough. So, yeah. With this in Konoha, when Naruto lives in the temple, which which actually made the structure of the Haku that this is where Naruto lived, with no doors, no windows, nothing. He says that he can make his own house with, easily with, with, earth, with earth release, and he summons him down on the ground, creating basically kind of like a stone house. But then he says, give him, give him an hour as he put his hand into the wall, using one things with, with water release, but also using earth release, earth release to control it. He takes two hands as he does use it. He kind of made his house into, I guess, a brick. So yeah. Well, it looked like brick, or had like a brick appearance, even though it was just pure stone. But yeah. The time he had everything laid out for him, he kind of just put stuff inside the house, which allowed, 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 allowed him to sleep there with, 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 with well, there's no, no windows, so there's like one giant one, but that's about it. But there's a door and everything on it, so it worked out. And Naruto, and, and Naruto just slept there, so, yeah. It was tall, tall, tall and fit Naruto to fit, fit Naruto's Nar, Nar, body and everything, and it was able, it was able to hold, hold, Nar, hold Nar, Naruto's belongings. So, yeah. Now we go on to just Team 7. I guess when it comes to tuning exams. But for well, first Konohamaru being saved by Naruto. Konkuro Konkuro's bullying um Konohamaru still. But Naruto doesn't know Konohamaru is mainly punched at Konkuro, but slow enough for, for Konkuro to dodge. As soon as Konkuro dodged, he really wanted to see who punched him, wants to look at the fist, saying it's gigantic. Tamari's looking looking fearful, saying Naruto. And then Konkuro looked up at Naruto shaking, saying Please don't hit me. Only punched right in the face by Naruto, seeing him flying Halfway across across the street, they were, I guess across the street that they were on. It's not just them told them, "Are you aware you're messing with the third Hokage's grandson?" Which they both froze at, saying, "No, we didn't. We're sorry." It's not just them about not asking Konohamaru if he's all right. And we're not talking Naruto, thanking him, calling him Big Bro Naruto, which should which should make make Naruto happy. That's so happy at that comment. So yeah, when Garu Garu ends up feeling 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 much pressure, maybe giving Naruto stronger than him, which he did not want to say, but. He is. He hates that. That's true, though. So, yeah. So, now we go on to, I'd probably say, like, just, um, we can probably go on to maybe just, I guess, the, just Rock Lee attacking someone, being Naruto. It's actually the highest stats as getting, even, even, even before, even kind of, like, kind of like, like Rock Lee's graduation. But, with this, we see basically just Rock Lee attack Naruto. But quickly, as he got close to Naruto, he Naruto was blind, and he felt Naruto attacking him. Almost Rock Lee be bitch slapped halfway across across the room. Rock Lee had blocked the punch, but blocked, blocked, blocked the slap, but barely. Look between Naruto saying, saying, What? A slap was that strong? This Naruto says, An ambush isn't, isn't, isn't too kind. But your heart seems to have good intentions, so I'll assume you weren't doing it to be rude. Rock Lee says, no, I was, I was doing it because because you were the strongest, I heard, but I wasn't aware well, you were blind. And the nurse says, no worries. I, 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 was, I, was, I was born blind. I earned the, the number one spot while I was still blind. If you, want to, if you want a match to determine who's strongest, I'm willing to, ha- I'm willing to have it. You don't need to hold back any ounce of power. But did it just need be, I will, I will, I will hold back against you. Which didn't make Broccoli a bit annoyed, but he still fought Naruto, trying to show him that he's worthy of going all out. But Naruto using one hand, it easily blocked against all of Rock Lee's attacks. Attacks before just hitting him, hitting him in the chest once with a palm strike, which knocked all the wind out of Rock Lee. Well, he's on the ground holding his chest, just clutching it, trying to get, trying to get his breath back. But Naruto immediately grabbed his shoulder, saying, deep breaths, in and out. 
or at least took them, before he was actually able to, actually able to, able to, able to, be, pro- to breathe properly again. As he stood up, just wondering how the hell someone hits him that hard. Hell, he even, he even was, was using the first gate, but still, never hit him that hard. My guys, my guys watched the match, being pretty surprised with Kikashi next to him, saying, I told you, he's strong. Hell, I, 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 I didn't think he's he stronger, stronger than you, until you use a few, until you use a, at least six gates. But another written test, which Rochantra does, which Rochantra can't really, like, um, he can somewhat feel papers there, and it was somewhat, somewhat read it. But he's, like, he's like Braille, I guess. But, yeah. But when it came to these situations, I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure, like, just cried straight out at, like, at some, 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 some situations which ruined his paper completely. They had to give him, like, like three new ones. But what if I'm just going to like, 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 this, the option was to cheat. Not actually just copied off Sakura. It worked out for him. So, yeah. But, I guess, I guess we can go on to maybe just, um, what was it? Wait, pause. So, um... Yeah, so not not copy off soccer once you realized the whole thing was cheating. So yeah. But then eventually it came to basically the whole thing. Anka, she threw Kunai at Nasha because he was just he's just honestly sitting there meditating and not listening to her. But then she threw Kunai, he caught it with his bare hand and just crushed it like he like he, like he broke the blade, crushed the hilt, everything. Crushed the handle, not hilt. Not a sword. He threw it to the side, playing Anko that was a kind of throw to throw that at him. He told him listen, only for him to appear right in front of her, punching at her, but but barely missing. But maybe a giant wouldn't guess like actually cut, actually cut her cheek, as he then says. Please don't throw things at me again, or I'll be forced to land a hit. So Uncle Millie froze, saying she understands. Yeah. Which which was honestly just an intimidation tactic. He, tactic. he would nearly never hit Anko, Anko actually, because she's part of the hidden leaf, she's not a traitor, and that would have killed her. So, yeah. Now we go on to basically just the force of death, where Naruto, Naruto, Sasuke, and Tucker are pretty safe. Because Sakura kind of sits around like, on like, just on his shoulder, just for fun. She kind of like, sits on her shoulder, told him to just kind of just rubs his head sometimes. But eventually we go on to just, I would say, maybe just, I guess, I guess, like, I guess like, just, just not using the bathroom. But he would use it, and when he's attacked by like, the, like, one, of the, like, one of the like hidden rain teams, he them in the chest like full force, came and get in, but sending them flying across the forest. Then he's using some flail and axe, he's, he's able to beat everyone else there, and then just head back out to his team. The Henry team didn't have the scroll he needed, so yeah. Next up would basically be them heading to basically just fight fight, fight Orochimaru as he's there. But when the, 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 the snake is coming, Naruto already knew it was coming, turning around with an instant, and punching the snake as hard as he can, killing it. It poofed away, and Orochimaru would attack Naruto first off, hoping to get rid of the giant hoping to get rid of the giant. But the one he went for a punch, Naruto immediately dodged, as much as Cloak was all that's left. Then Naruto had Nsaku immediately grabbed the cloak, pulling it around Orochimaru. Sasuke landed a kick on Orochimaru's face, sending him into a full 360. Only for Naruto's spit flow and axe, he sent flying down Orochimaru. As Naruto as not to the Niels, Niels third form. And it's honestly just a series of axe slashes, so he would use it, cutting Orochimaru's body up. As Naruto just wasn't ready for this, as it was just this is all happening, fa- happening faster than lightning. So, yeah. But Naruto so, was almost supposed to his way out of there. And attack Sakura first off, seeing her as like, as like a weak link. But immediately, as he went in for, went for, went for one blow, not to, not to immediately reach on Sakura, as his whole head, his, his whole head, his whole hand wrapped around his, around his head, almost crushing completely as Sakura stabbed him, stabbed him right in the stomach. But then Sasuke would just yell to Dori, slamming it right in the face of Rishimaru, blowing his head apart. But another, another substitution that had, had occurred. But Rishimaru was actually at this point not wanting to attack anyone anymore, it's too terrifying. So yeah. But yeah, so, with no one really able to, well, not with no one, with with Rishimaru not able to actually get near Naruto, kind of ended up with, I would say, Team 7 going on and, um, well, passing the exam, because they fight a random team and they kill them, so, yeah. So with this, they end up going on, taking their, uh, what was it, yep, taking the preliminaries, which goes the exact same way as in canon, I believe, I believe, it's just that a few fights are different. Sasuke vs. Yoroi. Sasuke has no curse marks, so he actually easily beats up Yoroi with, with no difficulty. Sakura vs. Ino. Sakura can use two, two nature releases on, a, on an okay scale. So, Ino is easily beaten up by Sakura. Then the Naruto vs. Kiba. Kiba was a bit nervous, bit nervous to hit Naruto, but he would, he would use his fang over fang at Naruto immediately. Only if I to put out like one hand and the whole like force is taken in, taken in by Naruto's hand. 
Eventually, he would then turn his hand downwards, striking Kiba and Anakamaru into the ground. As in this, then the winner with that with that easily knocked out um, Sas- Sasuke Kiba. So yeah. <laughs> so with um, with this, with this we can go on to I would probably say like Naruto and uh, what was it? Yeah, no, not in seven in the one with the t- one with training, but before that. We'll give him to Hinata. Not much to say to Hinata, and he saved, he saved Rock Lee. Just because he expected them both. He also did her being very kind to him, and then Rock Lee for the same reason. So, yeah. But he is crying that he's that, that, that so cruel to someone, someone that he, that he like, that is, that is his family. In the whole fight, Hinata, Hinata would, would never dare to go, to go and go and go and go and Neji would kill any tent like, 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 like he did with, like he did, did with her. Before all anyone saw here is that Neji just got me person. And someone who doesn't even deserve the title to, to, of the Hugo, who is the one who's going to Konoha. He doesn't deserve any of this. Neji's, uh, Neji's complete and raw evil to Naruto. He says this out loud. As he's actually holding a pretty beaten up Naruto. Uh, Naruto. Pretty beaten up Hinata. But Hinata, Hinata being really conscious, would tell Naruto, don't go consider Neji evil. She knows what he's been through, and she feels bad. Naruto nodding, saying, saying he'll, saying he'll, saying he'll, 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 he'll try to change his opinions. But he hopes, he hopes that then that, that, that he would change himself. So yeah. But yeah. But um, we can go on to I would probably say like um, maybe team maybe like team seven the one with the training now. So yeah. Now after trained by Jiraiya as he tears and tells him Naruto to meet him in the office, he does, and he finds Jiraiya, and Jiraiya is told, is told to train Naruto, Naruto is told to train, to train with Jiraiya. So he easily, he, he just does this immediately. But Jiraiya tells tell, 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 tell that Naruto is insanely strong, and, and Naruto has decided something Jutsu on his axe and flail. So, when he's summoning, he already easily summoned, summoned Gamabuta the first try. Or actually, hold up. Wait, and we'll, and we'll do this. Naruto, Naruto suddenly is a black bear, I'll say that. So yeah. He summons a black bear. And well, he feels very attached to it, actually. So yeah. So it's not to it's not to be basically in the turn of drive for like the rest of the month. It's not to unlock black bear summoning instead of instead of like instead of like um bear summoning. He can summon a brown, black, polar, whatever. So yeah. But he basically trains another jutsu for the whole time. And one of the jutsu that he ends up learning is actually Rasengan. But not end up mixing in mixing in an Earth release as he already he already released really on Wind User, so Rasengan was really easy. So yeah, so Earth release Rasengan honestly was gonna kind of end up kind of hitting someone, but when it hit it hit someone, it kind of just kind of like, like a giant Earth spike shooting through you. It's kind of looking what it looked like. It hit you, kind of just kind of shot like it like instead of it looking like an explosion, no, it was it's an explosion, explosion look, looking damage area, kind of like everything was shot inwards. And then out your back, out like the back, the back looked like an explosion. All the, all the, all the front side looked like, looked like you were impaled. So yeah, it's more like, more like an impaling attack, even though it's in the shape of a ball. Hmm. So yeah. Hmm. So with this, we can go on. To, I'd probably say like Naruto Team Seven for the finals. We're we're, we're just fighting Neji. Yeah. Um. Hmm. So with this, Naruto basically um will fight against Neji, but he has, he has Neji before the fight asks not fight asks before the fight begins, asking him if he had changed his ways. Neji says there's, Neji says there's nothing to change for, but Naruto says there's everything to change for if he's willing to actually like hurt family for people who consider him family. He actually can me may not, but he not generally like loves him as family. All he has to do is realize that. That Hinata is different. That's all he has to do. Then he's going to care attack Naruto as the fight begins. But Naruto easily just blocked all the attacks or just countering it with no effort. Even even, like, even when it comes to like 664 palms, Naruto, Naruto just smacked Neji into the ground with no effort. Playing Neji, 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 he'll beat him until, until he recognizes that Hinata is different. As he's, he's picking Neji by the hair, throwing him halfway across the arena. But Neji only got back up, like just, just, just stunned. But Naruto immediately just charged charge full force and Neji, and Neji like, like, like a shoulder check, slamming him into like the wall of the arena. And then with a bunch of punches, just and it wailed into Neji. The point where, where Neji had like kind of like, like his eyes, he's like flashed for his eyes. And that light flash changed his mind. So, yeah. So, yeah. Suddenly. So, 
With this, immediately, well, Neji had, Neji, Neji just said, just like a mid sea change, or changes his opinion on Hinata, and Naruto had stopped, had stopped beating him half to death. So, yeah. Uh. Alright, um, Naruto had beaten beat Neji, I believe, by Neji saying he changed his ways. And the other fights happen to be kind of simple. Kagura ends up fighting Chino because Kagura will forfeit. Kagura beat Chino pretty easily. Um, Sasuke beat, um, beat Gar relatively easily as well. As regards to his defense, Sasuke didn't even use Shidori. He was taught Earth Least by Naruto, like, three months ago by now. So, yeah, he has a few Jutsu under his belt. But Sasuke just used, like, one Jutsu until they called, they called, like, Earth Claps. Which made, which made, Gaara's, which made Gaara's whole defense fall apart as Gar fell in, like, in, like, a, like, a small pit. Then Gara was actually in the pit, which ended up trying to jump back out using sand. He smacked right in the chest with the Jidori, leaves him flying across the arena. Then as soon as he got back up, with his chest being pretty badly cut, Sasuke appeared in front of him and just wailed on him, and wailed on him, just with a brush of punches, kicks, and slaps right to the face. Not slaps, but punches, kicks, and knees, everything, all to the face, all to the chest. Who regards to like, merely passing out through just pain and blood loss. But eventually it led, uh, led down to basically just so to Sasuke becoming the victor pretty easily, actually. So yeah. Both Sasuke being the victor. Well, eventually, um, Gaara still did go berserk because he was like, he was unconscious. Um, but Naruto saw the four tails and he told anyone to like he jumped up telling no one to panic. But then the rest they were all playing against Jutsu. Because a conqueror not con conqueror, Kabuto was about to escape. And Naruto just pretty just be like in front of Kabuto and just punched him right in the chest to full force. Which came to in immediately, like almost killing him. But Archman jumped in saving him immediately was like that Kabuto almost died. <laughs> so this leads to know he was being attacked first. But the Genjutsu is broken by Naruto, then he ran full speed, ran, ran full, 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 speed, full speed ahead, like straight towards, um, wherever, uh, full speed ahead, straight towards wherever, uh, what was it? Towards where, uh, where, where, where Gara was. And, uh, yeah. So, as Naruto not, not ran towards Gara, Naruto's not about as strong as, like, the Six Tails already. So, it, as he fought Gara, it was a relatively easy fight, because Gara's about as strong, strong as, like, the One Tails is, exactly, so... Gara is relatively a hard fight. Like, he beat Gara to a pulp. Disrespectfully. So. The Gara had easily beaten with really no difficulty. Naruto eventually decided to go on to a whole different fight. So, yeah. Which led to actually him fighting Gara siblings. So. So. It's not to fight against Gara siblings. Well, they're pretty easily beaten by him. So, yeah. With Sasuke proceeded that Naruto already stopped with one tail, so he stopped so many fights, to the point where it just, where it just makes him angry. But, now we go on past that to, I'd say, now, um, hmm. 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 I guess the name of the next fight could probably be, um, So yes, I guess the next fight could probably be against Robin Sorchimaru, who got Kabuto far away from there with Sound 4. But now he's to fight Hero with no barrier, so yeah. Which led, which isn't good, he has four Ambu on his back now, once with Kakashi and Guy, and now Naruto, who's beyond pissed at him. So yeah. Like, Urchimaru, like, like Hurley felt, felt Naruto's chakra presence, chakra presence, soccer and Sasuke behind him. And now some X-Men on Urchimaru, and Naruto's snake, like, snake sword, and his, his flail on the axe, completely breaking the sword in half. Then Naruto punched him in the face, while forcing him flying across the earth, across, across the earth, across the village. With Sasuke running behind him, then you should be on Orochimaru and impaling him, kind of impaling his hip, or not his hip, but if it was a hip, it, if it was a hip, it'd blow a chunk through him, but, yeah, or out of him. And then Sakura then used a barrage of, like, 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 like water stone to completely just slice apart Orochimaru a bit. Well, then Guy then used his fifth gate to kick Orochimaru in the face, sending him flying far, far away. But then Kikashi used his own Chidori, and completely just decimated Orochimaru even more. But then Naruto took the, took the cake by using a whole different victory. Not victory, I mean a whole different, different technique. As he yells, as he yells, as he yells, fourth form, volcanic, volcanic rock, rapid conquest. But this he basically, basically, basically controls the chain to his axe, to his axe and flail, but the chain, the chain that he has would kind of, could, could just control the axe and flail with a pretty good, pretty, to a pretty good extent. Which also was awesome to, to decimate, with this, to decimate Orochimaru to the point where his body's cut apart. But then Naruto grabs Orochimaru once, throw him in the air, then uses a wonderful thing on, blowing apart his body even more. And Dr. is now officially dead until they turn around, he, re he, re he re regurgitated himself and just escaped, which they forgot about. So, yeah. 
Glenn and Sonya, two formation would happen as Ursa Minor was in... Ursa Minor was dry. Fuck. Hirson isn't dead, but he's upset that he let this happen under his nose. So, yeah. So, there's... So, not, not, not just selected to be coached. Go find the new Hokage with Jiraiya. And uh, not, not just also given the rank of, jo of Jonin, as if that was his last order from Hirson. You see, the sound four... The sound four, I mean. The, the people who didn't leave. Naruto, Jonin, Sasuke, Sakura, Chunin, Neji, Chunin... Actually, no, Genin, still. If a few of them are made, are made like Genin, are made like Chunin and Genin, Jonin, but even Shikamaru makes Jonin, but yeah. But do I say happy? He's happy to see that Naruto is a Jonin, and eventually like, they find like they like we go to like Naruto versus like versus like um what was it? Um, they fight against. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, they fight against what was it? Um, yeah, what was it? Oh yeah, so they fight. He went against Itachi and Kisame. As they had still got, as they still threw hands with, um, as they threw, they still threw hands with everyone else, but, yeah. But Naruto versus, um, versus Gara, not Gara, I mean, Kisame and Itachi. So, he kind of, like, kind of smelt them, like, through, not smelt, but hurt, I guess saw them, I guess using the kind of saw them through the door, and even heard them. But Naruto opened the door, only see Kisame try to punch it, like, hit him in the face with Samehara. But Naruto easily just, just kind of just smacked it once, and then flipped the axe, and, not the axe, Samehara into the ground. Then punch Kisame in the face so fast that it sent him flying. So, yeah. So, Kisame said it sent flying. Naruto's looking at Itachi, someone attacking and fighting. Then Naruto's looking at Naruto, realizing that Naruto has no eyes. So, Sharingan Genjutsu is completely out of the... Well, he has eyes, but he can't see. So, there's no use of Sharingan Genjutsu. There's an audible Genjutsu, but Naruto doesn't really care about that. Then, he realized that... The only thing he realized that Itachi had to use, like, like audible Genjutsu, Naruto immediately stopped his ears full force... Making his hearing, well, kind of just destroying it. And immediately Tachi realized that Naruto just ruined his hearing. So, yeah. Well, this begins fighting against, well, fights against Itachi and and, and Kisame. All basically deaf and blind, but he can still, still see through the world. Which doesn't actually cut the face of, like, Itachi pretty badly. Like, a giant scar across, across one of his eyes. It didn't, like, cut, like, cut the eye out or anything. He can still see out of it. It's just, there's a giant scar there now. And Itachi doesn't really, can't really get past Naruto. Even if it's again Jutsu, Naruto's infected by it. He can't hear or see. <laughs> so, yeah. Plus, he can even tell if Itachi's like, like, shows up like, 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 say something or anything. Itachi, it won't, it won't work. Even like Kisame's like, you know, Itachi's put, put him under again Jutsu. Itachi says, you know, sorry, but he deafened himself and now he, and he already can't see. So, it's kind of pointless. So, Naruto decides to keep fighting like, against these two. And then he, he beat, like, the living mess out of Kisame. <laughs> He's like, there's only so much for challenge for him. He's a pretty strong fighter. He's stronger than Zabuza is by, by a large, by a long, by a long, like, like a long shot. Then he has better, his better sword skill as well. So, beating Kisame wasn't really too hard. So, the Itachi is a bit more difficult. The Itachi doesn't use, like, like, just like, 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 crow substitutions. But those can really get past Naruto, so he just beat her up pretty, not her, beat him up pretty easily, too. So, yeah. So, with this, I said we, I said we go on, like, is just dry arriving. As he's heard like a bit of ruckus, he's like, there's like a whole wall story too. We actually Naruto who covered a few scratches on blood, and Naruto, and Naruto recently got his hearing back too. But um, yeah. So, but he can. I guess how do I say how, 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 how do I phrase this? Um. Uh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to phrase it. But Dry is shocked that Naruto had beaten Itachi and Kisame. Also, it's hearing something back a bit, so it kind of works out, but, yeah. But, um, not, 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 not so they had, like, like just really deafened himself to actually, like, to save these two. And save these two, to beat the two. But, now eventually it leads on to, I'd probably say, just those two being brought to Konoha by Naruto and Dryad before they find Tsunade, which would ruin their entire lead. But also, which one doesn't need to reach out to Tsunade at all, so it's a bit easier for them to, for those two. So, yeah. So Naruto and Dryad says like they set out on their journey again, but while they're gone, Sasuke would leave with with Orochimaru. So yeah, so that's kind of the whole thing. Naruto and Dryad have to return to Tachi and Kisame Kisame to Konoha, and then as they leave again, Tachi would leave with Tachi. Sasuke would leave, would leave with, with Orochimaru. It's out of jealousy in spite of Naruto arresting Tachi. So yeah. So with this, as Naruto and Jiraiya well come back to Konoha with Tsunade as Hokage, as they couldn't find Tsunade in the middle of like a, like, like a gang war because. She didn't pay back a gang, but another gang shouldn't pay them back either. Then those two gangs fight over whoever who gets to kill her. When Naruto, Naruto arrived, he just wanted to attack it, scared off all the gangs. 
And then Dryo posts on saying, this is a student, Naruto. Happens to be the son of Miyato, so, yeah. But Naruto's about Sasuke being gone, how they can't track him anymore, because they, whoever, whoever they sent, there's no Naruto there, and Rock Lee's too injured. Neji's still injured as well. They had the worst team possible to go get Sasuke. Hell, the Sound 4 nearly killed, nearly killed them all. It's just that, well, Neji and Rock Lee came in as they're still pretty injured, but they can even somewhat fight back. So, barely anyone survived that mission. So, yeah. Hmm. But, hmm. But now I guess we can go on to maybe, um, hmm. Pause. So Naruto basically would well two years pass. He, he went from seventeen. He if he turned sixteen. Uh, sir, he started at sixteen, turned seventeen at some point. Now he's nineteen. Naruto had been training harder. When we were like, like uh, uh, stress his hair wouldn't turn white. The stress no, it turned black out of stress. So yeah. And this one's through him training, training like to get Sasuke back from Orochimaru. But yeah. But um. Eventually, it leads on to, I'd probably say, just Naruto going against, I would probably, uh, hmm. Hmm. You, can, you can probably go on to maybe just the Kazukage Retrieval mission, where Naruto's only, only going, going to help Gara because he's a Kage and every village need, needs their Kage. He thinks this, he thinks that of that that way. So, come to that mission, Naruto would, could just approach going after, um, going after Gara. And it leads on basically him fighting against, I guess, well, first, Daedara. Or, I see, no, the barrier. The barrier wouldn't be too big of a threat for Naruto's Rock Lee and Gara, Rock Lee, Rock Lee and, and Naja fully healed at this point, so the barrier, the barrier wasn't really too bad. But the barrier taken down by these three, then we came to the just the giant wall. Naruto really just, like, palmed the giant boulder, pulling it back. Which actually seven and how strong Naruto is physically with just that one hand. Pause. So, yeah, so not a pom pom like, like if you turn boulder throwing it to the sidewalk with just one bolt with one hand. Which immediately shocked Data that someone did that. And before Data can even make make, make one striking remark, Naruto seeing Gara being sat on like just like like, just like a couch as a lifeless corpse, Naruto being crying out of just fury, this appeared right in front of Data covered by his jaw, and straight up just Omni Man like you know how Omni Man did Homelander in the death battle? Naruto did that to Data and just straight up pulled off Data's jaw and punched him in the heart, full force. Punching his Punching out, kind of just punching out Dator's heart completely, which killed him. So Dator are dead. Well, um, next up is Sorcery, which gets like just straight up drained by, um, by the Kakashi. Then with this, we end up seeing, um, oh, what was it? Yeah, so we end up seeing basically just the actual body Sorcery. But with this revealed in a split second, Sakura's like, just, like, stabbed him right in the chest where the heart was, obviously, which leads to basically just Sorcery giving up, giving up information in the last, in like, the last breaths, which isn't really too important. So, yeah, all of these are sending you bridge, and Kakashi not needing to use his MS at all. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter after that either. So, uh, yeah. So with this, we're going to basically just Naruto, who would um well begin helping against what was it? Hmm. So yeah. So we, we, we can probably go to basically just Naruto and them. Well, going to Tenchi Bridge is Kakashi's fully healthy, but they bring Sai. Even Yamato as well, because he, he, he has wood release and they need to impersonate Sasori. So, yeah. So, is there anything like my, my dog is just trying just, 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 just to lick me? So, you guys may, may hear her. But, yeah. But, um, yeah. So. I guess Tenshi Bridge now. They brought Young Yamato because it's a wood release. And immediately we see Yamato, who would present Sasori, doing pretty good, until Kabuto would attack him. Kabuto reveals who's Yamato, only for his hand to be grabbed by Naruto, and he just froze in fear of just having his chest caved in all over again. As he had to, he had to basically get, get everyone's DNA to. Like he had to get. He had to get everyone's DNA, like, like Sound 4, Oshimaru, so on and so forth, to, to have his chest fully repaired after that. There's someone just telling me how long it took to repair his chest. So Sunday couldn't do anything about that at all, and and Orochimaru knew it. It would take an adept healing factor. So yeah. So with this, we go on to probably just well Orochimaru attacking now, but Orochimaru isn't really a threat. He's pretty pretty easily beaten by Naruto alone. So yeah. 
With Rotoro being a pretty easily beaten threat, uh, I guess they can go to find Sasuke. But Sai found Sasuke leading to whole, like, encounter between him and Naruto. But Naruto being, like, 7 foot 2 now, compared to his chronicle, like, 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 7 foot in this one. Um, well, Sasuke is relatively pretty, uh, useless. So, yeah. Like, Sasuke's trying to, like, like, like put his hand by Naruto. No, he, it, it, it barely, it barely went past his arm. Naruto smirking, saying, you tried. You tried your best. And it's not just to pick up Sasuke by, by the neck and throws him into a wall full force. And as soon as Sasuke got back up, got back up and recovered after, like, after, like, a minute, or, minute or two, Naruto appeared in front of him, hitting him in the, in the, punch, in the gut with the, the gut punch, and that just completely was him flying into the, in the wall even deeper, and knocked him out. He walks away, he walks away with Sasuke, and Naruto tomorrow is just arrested by, by Kakashi and so is Kabuto. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah. So, um, now we go on to basically just, um... Yeah, a lot of the story is relatively uninteresting now, because Naruto grew so strong. Point where, he can kind of clear with how strong is living Shinobi currently, that's just how strong he is even compared to Obito. Like he's like he's full control over like over like, like, like nine tails of power. It is just he has he has never befriended the nine tails. It's just how strong he is. So no one is really getting past his power at all, not in a million years. Besides maybe Madara, but that stopped before it even begins. Darius is killed by Pain, which leads to the Pain Assault arc. But Pain is not a threat whatsoever to Naruto. Naruto easily killed him. First he killed the killed the path of Pain, the moment the moment Nagato, which went pretty similar to in canon. Because Naruto didn't even need Sage Mode to kill Nagato, but he learned it anyway. Which is honestly just overkill. But it was not Toji's own, no, it was Bear Sage Mode. Which gave him extra claws, speed, strength, and made, made, him, made him roughly on 13 feet tall. So, yeah. But, yeah. So, uh. Yeah. A lot of this is relatively too easy for Naruto to even, for to even go over. Like, like the fact that Summit is where the story would just end straight up because Naruto killed Obito in this arc. Oh, like, Obito appears in the Sasuke. Hidon still, Hidon still kills Asuma. Yeah, all of this is very much the exact same until the like, 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 summit where, where Obito replaces Sasuke. So, with Obito replacing Sasuke, Naruto would, Naruto would fight Obito, but Obito is simply too easy to fight. Naruto beat him to a pulp and then killing him until he actually did kill him with, a, with, another, with one punch as he outsped Obito's Kamui or intangibility. So, Obito's killed here. Killed kill here, and then Detsu's also killed there, which means no matter Uchiha. But like, Detsu does start to take over Naruto and like make him into like, like some form of Kaguya. But it that Naruto is not a perfect vessel of Ashura. No, he is simply just fuel fueled by rage. That's about it. So like Detsu is then concealed away by Naruto as no not Naruto, but everyone steals him away and they find someone to do so. So Detsu is killed away and everything. So Naruto basically would um will kill each other's arc, but relatively no difficulty. So yeah. So Obito being no different by Naruto, disrespectfully, he ended up just leaving. So yeah. But even even A was amazed at how strong Naruto was compared to anyone else. So yeah. Lay down. All right, but yeah, we, yeah Naruto just no diff to Obito the moment they met. So yeah. And like the two sealed away, then everything else with this. Naruto marries Sinata still. So yeah, even 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 Haku who's here. So yeah, and Naruto and Naruto, no, 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 Naruto's son Boruto, born 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 from Haku, or she no Hinata, and then we'll sleep. Haku in this one just has a whole different kid. Screw it, Menma. And Hinata still has him. He has Himawari and Boruto. So it's not so pretty easily beat. Um, well, not beat. I mean as. You see his kids now, Menma, Himawari, and Boruto. Not in that order, but still. Boruto and Menma are the same age. Himawari is like a, he's like a year y y younger than the two of them. So, yeah. <sighs> next, up, next, up, next up would probably be, um, I would say, maybe, uh, what was it? <laughs> uh, yeah, we, can, we can probably say, like, team, what was it? Oh, yeah. I guess probably just the next fight is probably like Shin Uchiha, which Shin is not really a fight to Naruto, who effortlessly beats him into the dirt. So, yeah. So, 
Now, Bushin Chin is not really, not, not really, not really a threat for even Sasuke. So, yeah, Sasuke easily beat Shin. And then it led on to basically, um, um, well, Momoshiki and Kinjiki, which neither of them are threats either. Well, there's not, not really a threat to Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, or all of Konoha, as a, as a matter of fact. So easily beaten they are. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so with Shin are relatively not really threat, Momoshiki and Kinjiki aren't either. You know, Konoha is when they when they were there, they had to meet they had to meet Hokage Naruto, who is a complete master of most jutsu, in the, in the hidden not in the hidden leaf in the land of fire. So yeah, his just jutsu was overwhelming to them, to the point where he has like like a little like a little under ten thousand. <laughs> so these two are pretty easily killed. And then uh, well, we can also see just Jigen, and Naruto and Jigen are a bit more of an even battle. That's not just pretty equal to Jigen. But then he starts to use Naruto's power, which he has mastery mastery over. And Kushina met him. They're amazed at how big he is. But yeah, Minato also questions black hair, but he says it's kind of turned black through stress. And uh, yeah, but Naruto, um, yeah, Ishiki was a pretty equal fight until he used Naruto's chakra, where it seemed to be Naruto easily overwhelming him. Then led Ishiki versus Naruto, which Naruto just used more Naruto's power, going up to like a good like KCM two, where he easily killed Jigen with no with no difficulty, or Ishiki with no with no difficulty. So yeah. Okay. So we we'll probably go past Jigen now on to like uh well, Yeah. Well I don't know, I guess. I don't know I don't know what else to ha what else could happen here. It's not really that interesting or important. So So with nothing important really happening here, we can probably go on and see like uh hmm. Hmm. Yeah, what really happens here is just by code fighting against Naruto, but Naruto is like he's stronger than, than Jigen, but not Ijiki, which I think is the biggest caveat here because it because Naruto couldn't even beat Jigen as at at, at his full power plus Baryon mode. So, hmm. but Naruto is equal to Jigen even though he's using using Naruto's power. Then when he's using Naruto's power, he easily just no diffs Jigen. The code is not not even a threat whatsoever. No one here is really a threat to Naruto at all. And plus that plus like mainly um. And the kid, the kid that they can like deflect damage. Naruto doesn't care. Simple as that. Just he has nearly like, with a little under ten thousand jutsu. You can imagine that he could do pretty good against against that kid. So some some jutsu will kill him. Some jutsu would. So um, yep. Yeah, so no one, no one here, no one here, no one here can really beat Naruto after this. But we don't believe that Naruto being the only Shinobi ever. We end the story here. Always enjoyed. Like subscribe for another. What if. Adios.